These men, who history would come to know as the Rough Riders, were deployed to the front lines in Cuba. The members of the unit were selected from all around the country, acting as a microcosm of the nation. Within just five days of the announcement of Lt. Col. Roosevelt assembling his team, over 20,000 men applied to fill the 800 available slots. The final result of the unit consisted of educated Harvard men, miners, law enforcement, Native Americans, and even cowboys. These men were all highly talented individuals who respected Roosevelt for what he had already accomplished, but they would not follow him on reputation alone. He would have to earn their trust. Knowing that, Lt. Col. Roosevelt took action right from the start to create a closely bonded unit. He accomplished this by running a unit where every soldier had to prove his worth. No one got special treatment, including himself. He ate what they ate, he slept where they slept, and he even trained beside them. 